Jupyter text readability. Okay, go live. So you'll see, you can follow the Discord, please. And I'll have uh, the, the stream one. Okay. So if you want to put comments, leave them on the Noita Summit Discord, please. And there I'll see them sure, for sure. Okay, everyone, welcome to the second segment of the Mod Showcase. I hope you're seeing, you're seeing, right? Everything's settled. Everything good. Okay. So I'm going to start by making a, a, a new fun vanilla game. Um, let's start a new run here. <laughs> just a totally normal a totally normal um, game <laughs> you know the usual yeah yeah <laughs> this was released a while ago earlier this year um, and it's, it has been improved a lot made to work with the new version as well <laughs> let me check <laughs> normal mod yes <laughs> so everything is inverted <laughs> that's the whole idea Yeah, uh, unfortunately, when you invert the enemies, they don't work well. That that was the only reason why I didn't invert invert them. But you have sands, inverted gravity, and everything is inverted, even physics objects. Let's collect some gold. I will need it. After this, I have some bosses to show, which I have been working on. Um, so stay tuned. Some really sophisticated bosses, unlike you've ever seen before. I am upside down and the gases and the liquids and the sands and the gravity of the physics objects everything except the enemies that is upside down uh, practically you can also use it to, to, to my right oh I see no I prefer not to touch that mess actually <laughs> someone sent uh, <laughs> oh they're they're linking my my things very nice uh, okay I'm still good on health too I figured out why the fireman the fire mage explodes his own face it's because the smoke is a liquid and it collides with the fireball <laughs> took me a while to to understand that oh this is inverted noita um, and in fact you can you, you can toggle every every aspect on and off as you wish in the mod settings too we'll check out the mod settings later on uh, give me water Let's see if I have anything to work with. 
that might be okay. <laughs> no one so far though. Let's uh no uh play it safe. The whole world is inverted, so you can do this with any other mod, like you can play this in Apotheosis, uh, like any mod. Took a lot of work, eh? it's, a, it's a technical marvel in itself. Yes, that's because they are actually gases, the liquids, but I changed a lot of their properties to make them act like liquids. And you can swim in them too. You can swim. And every part took a lot of work. Eh? It's not nothing is straightforward with this. Shit, no, I'm gonna die. <laughs> Yo, is that some raid? I love Noita. <laughs> glass cannon, they wanted me to pick glass cannon, oh my god. What have I done? Oh, what is this? Oh, it all turned to steam, I think. I assume so. Oh, shit. Yes. Yes, um, indeed. And even the toilet island is upside down. <laughs> or, or the sky islands, the new ones. I think for the sake of this um, showcase, I'll, I'll just go to the portal here. You can collect the the liquid though, even though it's a gas, so I ch changed a lot of properties. I had to reprogram the whole game basically <laughs> to get this to work. It was worth it, exactly. <laughs> oh my god, not enough gold. It wants me to play with sauce. <laughs> Hmm, I take this. But here, there's interest, something interesting. I'm gonna miss my together. I gotta go to work. Oh no, that's unfortunate. You know what? Work can wait. <laughs> joking, joking. I think I can't break the oh no I can okay anyways let's okay these are sands the snow I'm thinking of showing you the mod settings now that would be interesting because we've <laughs> yes indeed <laughs> That's the title. Anyway, so we can go here. We have inverse gravity. We can toggle physics gravity, sand gravity, liquid gravity, um, projectile gravity, flip the player, flip the screen. Let's, let's make it normal, the game, with inverted physics. Oh, 
Okay, wait. <laughs> Options, mod settings. It is off. This is strange. Eh? Oh, on? It needs to be on. Hmm, this is strange. It might be a bug. <laughs> Uh, it sh shouldn't go up. Uh, it might be some some exception. Let's check. Yeah, this is un un unfortunate. Let's check. Uh, let me use the online inverse gravity. What? Oh my god, we're down. W Stream is still up. Okay. Okay, there we go. Oh my god, unfortunate. We'll have to live with it. But yeah, you can see, you can see there is this, and physics now goes up. This is what's going on behind the scenes. Earlier I was just flipping the player and the screen upside down. Now everything is the right side up. just kind of a reveal of what's going on under the hood <laughs> let me turn my head around again I'm getting slightly <laughs> disoriented <laughs> I don't blame you this is disorienting and it also requires a bit of getting used to I, I can't play this for for too long bef because I get nauseous so I have to only play like an hour or two a day but it's a fun hour or two nope should I? yeah let's do it share your screen I think I'm going to get killed. Oh. oh. Okay, let's go to third level. That's where I want to go. It's like the gold nuggets are their soul escaping. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. They look like they're going to heaven. That's the. <laughs> That's the gist I take from it. I want to just reach the third area because something I like to watch is the is the ice and the snow snow area. No, oh, that's neat. Um yeah, just that everything goes up. You see the ice going up and you can kill enemies that are above. I just enjoy it. <laughs> you can see here the rock stays. <laughs> stays up here, it doesn't fall. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Oh yeah, we got the bad modifier. <laughs> That's okay. Oh god, look at that. Oh, I have faster movement. That's why I'm so agile. The best what? <laughs> oh, 
Oh, six, six dollars. <laughs> yeah, here I like this place. Or I can do this loop. I love I love that. <laughs> oh shit! The electricity. Ugh. It looks so uh, weird. <laughs> I think I showed you what I wanted to show um, in this mod. So we have. Um, we need to catch up with time. We need to go fast. So that's. That's mod one. Have to use the online version. Let's go to my boss reworks. So these are much more interesting. We will be seeing some apothe apotheosis integration as well here things become noita again gui um, normal noita exam exam ex exactly <laughs> okay so if any of you know the developers or their games of, of noita um, you might have heard of environmental station alpha so yes in hell i decided to make a boss with uh, which does practically the same thing as the boss in environmental station alpha but in noita and upscaled so i'll do everything the animations in, in a larger scale let's go give him a visit this is it's working This is a um, new enemies mod. Uh, this is the true Moya fight. Oh, thank you, thank you. Okay. Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's go. This is creepy stuff now. <laughs> Ouch. Okay, let me disable dying. This boss fight is meant to be with a lot of health. So let's increase the health. I've beaten this guy in a normal run though. And you need to hit his bubble. He has some physics tentacles. He has a lot of attacks. I'm trying to wait to s with the. Sorry, I, I don't hear much uh, sometimes. <laughs> yeah, there's parallax going on here too. You can see the 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 pipes and the and the background are further away than the the guy himself. So there's parallaxing. All of this takes a lot of work. Huh? It's not easy at all took like two weeks or a week and a half anyways this is just phase one now we get to phase two our bullets get destroyed 
and we cannot fly anymore and our all our bullets get turned to hooks oh my god hooks the new spell and you need to reach his his face to deal damage and now we get some puzzles oh so this thing hurts <laughs> let's take some damage from it it deals percentage damage so it's always good to avoid and all my tel my projectiles become teleport teleports teleport bolts and you can see i'm not changing the wand so all projectiles just automatically get changed to whatever spell you need to make the co to do the course these aren't in the original asa game i added these just to make them applicable for noita to make the platforming puzzles applicable that guy deals damage if you touch him <laughs> now we get swapping we need to swap with these blue things okay so that's the final phase of the f of the second phase <laughs> Now we get to the third phase. Hopefully the final. This one is a bit tricky. You get this face, this final form. And you have to dodge these and you become invisible. You can't see yourself or your projectiles or anything for a short time this was also very hard to implement uh, he's going to hit me and all projectiles get turned to teleport bolt so you don't need teleport bolt to to do this part i'm i'm <laughs> Let's decide to kill him. Okay, I killed him. <laughs> he lets, lets these uh, pieces of his face. And there's his final form. This white, this white thing and it fades out with time. These are just boss the enemies from... Uh, oh my god. Oh, he picked up the wand. <laughs> Anyways, the white guy is fading. Anyways, that's to get the hell orb. And some nice wand and the full heal as well. Okay. yeah that's the first one let's go in apotheosis now apotheosis and new enemies mod as well anyways hope you enjoyed that that was my first thing which i wanted to show you let's check out oh i have two on ella <laughs> let's uh i'm in the wrong uh, I don't even need a conjurer. Wait, no, I need conjurer. Okay, that's just some HP. Let's go to 
which one first uh, I want to show the fungal boss but maybe first we'll go to the corridor so in apotheosis there's this extra kind of part of the map and uh, here you find this chasm kind of and if you have the new enemies mod enabled you will find this structure here an ominous structure <laughs> and this is inspired by adventure time there is a, an episode where you have the egress um, the egress monument kind of and once you touch it in adventure time something odd happens the world changes so i wanted to represent that in this part as well so once you touch it You have to hit the eyes and the hand and it's an infinitely looping corridor this is the technical marvel here um, it loops forever and it just uses three chunks only three chunks and i'm giving an illusion that you're going on forever but in, in, in reality i'm just looping back and forth like what? Yeah, you can go forever. It never ends. Because you're, you're actually going in the same three places all the time. Let's kill it. Yeah, it took a lot of work. <laughs> it's, it's hard to, to do this. Uh, and I was give, going to give up for a while, but I still managed. Then you kill it. <laughs> and you get a perk too. Um, let's clear up some of this. And just extra. Extra. And now we can see that we were actually in this small space this is all of it and I was just giving the illusion that you're going on forever when I was just using this small space in the chasm <laughs> thanks <laughs> um yeah, let's go to fungal boss next. I'm currently working on another boss too, um, but I think I won't show it because it's not complete yet. Some super smooth. Mm -hmm. What about it? <laughs> yeah, at least. <laughs> yeah, they don't hurt though. The the. The, the rock itself doesn't hurt for that moment so you don't get damage from the collapsed corridor <laughs> um, let's go to fungal garden this guy i like um but his fight is chaotic eh? let's remove some enemies this is one of the most chaotic fights i ever made i think Oh, you remember? Okay. So these bosses also show in, in New Game Plus with new enemies alone. But uh, with Apotheosis you just get, get them established in the map by default. 
he's turning everything into his purple fungus um, world and he can cast fungal shift although it's a local fungal shift it only converts things on your screen yeah it's chaotic and to damage him you can't damage him directly he only takes damage when you deal damage to his babies to these guys for example you need to kill his spawns HP has beaten this guy here but it's very chaotic it gets even more chaotic than this <laughs> right now things seem stable no he doesn't have a second phase and I don't think he needs one in all, in all honesty ah okay the the stuff hurts um the what's it called okay so you can see materials are getting shifted locally but just on the screen not in the whole world oh. i almost got him i think What? <laughs> thank you, thank you. It's based, the animation of the walk is based on the Ifrit from Risk of Rain Returns. Um, this animation, although I had to redraw it, all, all of it. Um, and make it into a fungal kind of skin okay he's he's dead and he drops yeah <laughs> oh you see it ah that's nice shift immunity we get these hurt by the way <laughs> and then once he dies all the spawns and stuff also stop like his purple mushrooms and stuff don't grow anymore so it's just reserved for the fight that's important to avoid clutter ah, we only want clutter during the fight <laughs> I miss him already Ah. Those were the big guys. We can go for smaller guys now. Um, there's the new stuff with Animal Well. I'm sure you'll appreciate this guy. If you played Animal Well, you might recognize him. Not yet, but soon. I'll tell you when. His second phase. Anyone who plays Animal Well will recognize this guy. <laughs> I actually made him from the trailer of Animal Well, not from. Uh, I made him when it was just a trailer. It's a ghost dog. Ah. It's a little treat. He's a nice early game fight. Usually I enjoy 
getting here to fight him. Let's go to something huge. This is something huge, but um, yeah, it's it's. Let's let's see it. We are in the underwater, underwater caverns um, of apotheosis. And yeah, giant eel. I wish I had teleport, honestly. Uh, I wish I had teleport. You need teleport for this fight. Yeah, ship with, with functioning cannons. <laughs> ah, I've beaten all of these bosses in vanilla runs. Uh, so without without any cheats or mods, I've I've beat them in legitimate runs. In fact, I have uh, the full progress here of all these enemies. I, I like to kind of when I create a new one I go on an, an, an expedition just to see how the fight feels there's also mini bosses which are spread over the whole of over multiple areas but those are usually RNG so to to spawn them in you would have to spawn them man manually like i might do after this perhaps because the mini bosses are also a sight to behold so here you got our gift which is infinite flight this is a perk from apotheosis and repelling cake okay There is of course Perkele. I think we've shown this this guy last year though. Um, yeah, I'm getting a little tired, honestly. <laughs> yes, yes. And they are found in the main biomes though. There's this guy, for example, he spawns here. Let's let's check out some mini bosses. There's this guy, the horse. You remember the horse? <laughs> he spawns on the first floor, yes. Not too common though. These are basic, basic boss. He's not meant to be difficult to avoid. Let's show you guys what I'm working on. <laughs> because I'm, I don't know, I want to show at least what I'm working on right now. Something I was working on earlier today, in fact. Let's, let's spawn him in. Hellion. A heat boss, lava boss. This guy will spawn in the lava lake in hell. Um, not for this lake. <laughs> but I like to test him here. You can see he, he also emits heat and you can see the distortion of the heat. 
on the on the game that was really complicated and i used a really unique technique to do it yesterday it uses texture in fact and i just edit an image on the go and use the, the image as a table of where i should place the heat effect but it's not done yet this boss and there's splash too he can splash the the lava that took some nice work too you can see the splash actually has custom audio too i, I added in added it in yeah and they're not uh, too difficult some people complain that they are too easy because late game people are very powerful but with the new update orb bosses actually become stronger the more orbs you have so if you want them to be harder you just collect more orbs basically and there's a whole incremental change between orbs with scaling like at certain orbs they get different attacks certain bosses and uh, they get progressively more projectiles and stuff like that this guy you've seen him everyone has seen the phoenix <laughs> good old phoenix what what yeah 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 you can choose in a way you can choose yes I, I'm tired right now. <laughs> I think I wasted all my energy. Uh, I used up all my energy. This guy I like. He's he's one of my favorite plant bosses. That's his name in the files. In, in fact, plant boss. He just swings from left to right. This guy is based on a boss from ESA called Overgrowth. You hit him in the eye. He can spawn in the jungle. He's very avoidable though. But you get wands and stuff from him. Yes, it's a mini boss. There's a lot to show, um, uh, but I think I'll go to a different mod now. I just want to show a short, a small update on Particle Life mod because I've done some changes to it. Yeah, take care, take care. There's only so much explanation you can do. <laughs> I'm, I'm using, um, let's see, particle life. There it is. A little bit more chill, a little bit more laid back. We'll explore the world and check out new, um, check out some particles. These are reaction based simulations uh, if someone can post and pin the link uh, it's, it's just called called particle life that's on the steam workshop 
Let's, let me check the settings. Okay, they're good. Here we get a web, spider web. They get laid slowly in the biomes. There's some flies we see, fleas as well. These are materials, these, these creatures, these tiny creatures are actually materials which react in ways that act like uh, like creatures let's find some there's some fireflies down there they glow in the dark this is a dragonfly there's some ants here there's also we'll see them plants there's plants uh, Earthworms. <laughs> There's earthworms too. Look, they're digging up, eating up the terrain. Oh, there's some plants here. I'm gonna try to eat it. You can eat the plants too. Even the. You'll see later on that there's fungi. Fungal mycelium as well yeah yeah I, I, I honestly i don't know why they didn't explore this this idea in, in, in the original game because it's not even expensive on the engine um, it doesn't take a lot of computing power at all it's it doesn't even have an effect on performance almost so here's a plant this is a clever trick it looks like material but is actually done via a table um, Um, it's, it's very complicated this plant and it's it's made in a way that it doesn't interact with the you can shoot at it and it will hit but if you shoot a, a physics object on it it won't uh, it would just go through it like that it doesn't it goes through it and you can go through it and projectiles can go through it a lot of clever clever stuff um, trying to eat this perhaps nah I think it's <laughs> I think so oh interesting <laughs> yes indeed especially for fungus fungal caverns for example um, magical temple has some soul small souls in it particle souls um, But they are not harmful, they are just, uh, like there's spider webs up here, they're just aesthetics. And you can go through them. So now I just want to, okay, you have heat shimmering effect on, on warm particles. That's something which I have enabled. The heat is the same for the lava creature which you showed earlier in fact. You can see it, this heat around me. Let's take this. 
like fire fire makes this heat too it makes for a nice effect okay i should just go through this is just a demonstration it's not a, a serious game for serious game we just know life through it and try again and again like we always do <laughs> in, in stream but yeah even the bosses that I made earlier um, I, that I showed those were like journeys i call them like each one is crazy hard to do it's like a journey of self-discovery <laughs> yeah i try to keep it fresh because it has to be and and the more you add the problem is that it's harder to add the new stuff so the new stuff like that uh, lava guy uses a really sophisticated shader mechanic it was very hard to implement and i had to learn a lot to, to implement it my I think Moya so far, Moya, the, the, the black big guy which I showed you earlier, I think that was the, the hardest one I made, and I made it over several days, or even a week perhaps. I'm waiting to find some mycelium some fungus so i can eat air oh, there it is here's how it grows oh shit it fell ah we lose it Okay, there's a candidate. Here's some mycelium. Here's one, and here's two. <laughs> and you, you get high, of course. This whole eating method as well is, is took a lot of work to make them eatable. I'm going to go to the third level up next. Hi, hi Heartworts and there's Red Right Ross too will come in. <laughs> I'm just spawning them away. Despawning them is the right word. And you get icicles here. You get first of all you get wind from the the snow. There's kind of wind. And you get icicles. These icicles, the idea came from a very old gif in the original game um which the devs actually te were testing with at, at before they even when when they were in the start of the development and you got these and uh, you can also interact with them but still they don't collide with you you can't kill enemies with them 
so they don't interfere with the gameplay, that's the idea here. We want aesthetics but no interference. Except for it is still it is still it still becomes box 2D but with special settings <laughs> to make it possible. After you've seen the third level, I think you, you've seen most of the effects. There's lava bubbling, however, I didn't implement it because it can affect gameplay significantly sometimes. So I made it optional. Disabled by default, but able to toggleable by people as they wish. What? What? Oh, no, um, not, not because of that. Because of the boss, for example, the falling lava. It bubbles and the lava goes everywhere and legs the game. It took a while to, to realize. <laughs> had to do a whole run to realize <laughs> I think here they haven't been laid oh here are some souls look at these particle souls these these over here they're just material huh? just gas static gas <laughs> they react, react with her to move, and they leave a trail. You can burn them too if you if you want. Okay, so we have another half hour, right? Okay, let's see what I can show. Because we saw everything that uh, uh, Particle Life had to offer practically. There has been a new um, multiplayer which um, uh, is not has not yet been explored or we didn't get it to work well so far I want huh? oh you, you you heard about that I see okay maybe this one no because okay never mind this this one no That's unfortunate. Uh, we can see some more chill stuff in New Enemies mod because there's certainly some nice, pretty stuff which isn't actually harmful. Like birds. These actually integrate what is called as void movement. They have flocking behavior. Whoa! That's the tree music. I never heard it before. Yeah, the this. The skies are pretty empty in, in the original. And they have flocking, they avoid walls too. too. Let's, let's see where these guys are going. Hmm. 
These are sparrow birds. <laughs> but to make these, it was again, it was very difficult. Usually, voids are implemented by multiple scripts. But I managed to implement their movement in one script and they act as projectiles, kind of. They are in, in themselves are projectile, essentially. Oh, shit. The fire. Why, Noita, why? Why do you do this? Oh my god. There's something nice too. So, there's a lot of nice stuff here. Like the portal worm. I worked on this guy a, a while ago. Oh, there's mammoths, of course. <laughs> there's the portal worms. These are quite interesting. Yes. This guy. They can be found in the tower. This is also, again, a lot of work and was... is pushing the boundaries of the game, actually. And he has unique AI too, he's not like the dragon or other worms. And there's this guy, of course. Let's go to the desert. Pora cavicone. Oh my god. <laughs> the hasty drill. He doesn't target you directly. This guy spawns in the desert chasm and moves around there. People have have seen this guy quite some time, sometimes. And I've seen a lot of people managing to kill him for the first time. And we can display the destruction of this guy. It's a sequential segment destruction. That also took a lot of work. <laughs> There's been an update on the Hydra as well. Um, the Hydra visuals. I want to show at least the juiciness of the new boss. Very juicy. Um, let's get some health. Full heal, health. Pop, 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 pop. Yo, we got some kind of raiders, I think. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. There's this Hydra guy. He has a turning animation now. Uh, And you can slice his head off. Ah. This guy is the most hated boss, I think. Because he gets insane with... Uh, with a lot of orbs, this guy gets insane. Eh? <laughs> this guy is, gets out of hand.
Next up, we have the... Can I show this? Or... The Sanctuary. I enjoy this boss. This, this boss is a, a piece of work as well. An artwork and the technical work as well. You might have noticed the ghost from earlier. It's the same ghost, kind of. And this is... This boss needs to be destroyed bit by bit. You can destroy the eye for now. You have to destroy every other part first. Ah. We've seen this last year as well, this guy. So when you kill the three faces in the middle, you kill the ghost that chases you. And then once you kill everything, um, you get this guy angry. This guy gets angry. Ugh. Oh, it's good to note that I also implemented um, recently the, uh, the ability to understand when someone is using an inefficient build, which, um, which will cause lag. And I clear up those projectiles accordingly so because I've had some players who actually um, use very inefficient builds on their <laughs> on their bosses and I had to cater for that so I'm going to try to build something framey uh, <laughs> maybe it's not the best to showcase But I will do it anyways, because I don't care. <laughs> Two, three, four, five, six. Something like... Uh, Two, three, four, five, six. And uh, perhaps... What else can I put on this? That is lag. And I could use mu. Um, explosive like that and some moo slideshow builds <laughs> yeah a lot of people tend to go for those kinds of builds even though they aren't uh, a lot of damage uh, they don't deal a lot of damage they look like they deal a lot of damage, that, that's true, but in reality, they don't pack that much damage. It's about sending the message. <laughs> it's not about praise. Yeah, let's say um, so let's say that's piercing okay so and we have we have a lot of orbs back spawn orbs i'm just setting up by the way so if you don't know what's going on don't worry about it i'm just collecting some orbs for now okay i think we're all good The music boss. Oh, I'm not sure about that. <laughs> Must be some.
some bug okay so now the ore bosses will have a lot of health okay so let's check uh, a significantly thick one so i'll go for the rock spirit colossus this guy tends to be my favorite for leg tests oh there's this So he does lasers and I'm going to shoot him. Oh crap, okay. Orb 25. No joke. Anyways, he, he detected it and he clears it. Ah. He clears them. So if you have inefficient builds, you can go ahead and use them, and, but he clears them. Yes, it checks four frames, and if they're below five frames for like three seconds, and the boss is during his taking damage phase, um, he he tries to serialize or projectiles and then break them down into nothing, basically, to get rid of them. But as you can see, twenty six orbs. 26 orbs is my greatest orbs which I've done the the farthest I got with this mod um, I think beyond this it gets very hectic however we can see how the bosses change because now you will see that even the, the basic bosses will get more aggressive they get like that Phoenix Phoenix attack they will gain some powers there's ring explosions going on here too let's go far away let's go far away very very far away ha 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 you can't reach me ha 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 Yeah, but you can teleport. If you're at 26 orbs, you can practically fly away. That's a lot of these bosses have incorporated in them a way to keep the fight going even when you're very far away. It's not just this guy, it's most of the orb bosses have this kind of approach. And these are actually ring explosions. These are not possible in the game, so I had to simulate it. I think this guy doesn't detect lag though, because he's just not built for that. He only... Yeah, I think he doesn't even detect for lag. Uh. I'm using this efficient build for some reason. <laughs> it's not the scope to kill them. It's not the scope. Let's fire a new game. Let's go to okay we get a dragon right away <laughs> so this, this is a cool mini boss too he's a dragon basically he shoots fire with liquid nitrogen that it's like ice that snow that falls down yeah he's, he's pretty easy in reality he's he's fit for this area um, but that's not what I wanted to show by the way I wanted to show something else something strange 
That's good. <laughs> the living formation. Ah, the goddamn worm. And that's a physics hand. So let's say we go back to the surface. And to kill him you just pierce his his eyes. Really? I see. Uh, and it was leggy because I think if, if it was leggy that's because you were in the main branch in the old version but now things should work fine in, in this version so you shouldn't get too much lag or any lag at all actually oh. let's go check him out I want to see his 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 way of affecting the water that's my goal here I want to see water manipulation. Look at that. You see the water? Because his hand is actual physics material. I call this nerd porn. Yeah, that's the living Geocolossus, I call him. Um, oh, something which not a lot of people know about, but we have a shrinking mage. This is good to keep note of. These guys can spawn in the early areas. We saw this last year. I'm sure we showed this. Um, but I'll show it here again just just for the show you're like haha you're so small and then he's whoop take this you're smaller than me haha <laughs> and you you find it difficult to kind of move in a way however you can get the between crevices more easily uh, And you can't shrink your wands with this and they there's a lot of logic involved to prevent that there's these silkworms some more chill creatures let's go to uh no i think it makes you fart in fact So the pyramid is interesting in the sense that it has some unique things added to it like these, these background spiders. These are inspired by an environmental station Alpha 2. There's a lot of inspiration. I took a lot of inspiration from environmental station Alpha enemies and bosses. Then there's this mummy it's an actual mummy ah, which fell down <laughs> oh he's dead dead meat Nah, not fall damage, but um, lava damage, I think. Oh, there's this crawler, this ant. <laughs> oh, it can also be found in the pyramid. It just goes from left to right. I like the sound he makes when he dies. Wait. Okay. <laughs> He's dead. 
there's this guy also inspired and based on ESA um, I'm not sure I think over 280 maybe This guy is actually healthy, very healthy, so I don't intend to kill him legitimately. There's this, a nice corpse flower that makes you dizzy. That's it, all it's, it does. It makes you vomit <laughs> and stuns you. It's really pretty though. I like these guys too their physics tentacles I think some similar to what we saw with the Moya uh, the, the the big boss it shoots a golden beam this can spawn in the in the world what yeah yeah but i mean it's gold dust you can't get too much gold out of it anyways it's not as efficient oh and this guy is interesting here is my version of a zombie in Noita um, this is the ascended blood mage and let's get a good weapon against him okay You can peel his face off. Has some blood attacks. He sucks blood and heals from it. He can also suck blood from you if you're not careful. From these cones. You have to blind him first. And then he takes damage. I think I need more damage than this. Nah, not really though. In an actual game you instantly kill him. In reality. This is just a, a bad one for, for him. And he heals too, so... Heals from blood. And then it drops something blood related like vampirism, trick blood, stuff of that sort. Let's see some humongous ones. There's the platoon. Reference to Fear and Hunger 2. <laughs> but Noita version. He shoots nukes basically. <laughs> yeah, but he only spawns in parallel worlds. Like the the dark call uh, dark dark wound connoisseur. And he doesn't have a lot of help in reality. Let's remove him for now. 
and then there's this which spawns in parallel ways so we'll heal and let's get some help this guy elephant elephant tank yes <laughs> Titan Tusk, I think I called him. I I got inspired by an AI generated image for this one. And I made which showed the idea of a elephant tank with the trunk being the cannon. also the Z index worm so a worm that goes in the background and comes back to the foreground that's what I mean let's see him I'm sure you you've many of you have seen this guy before um, let's end with this guy goes in the background it comes back to the foreground in the when last year we showcased this guy I'm trying to showcase ones which weren't showcased last year. <laughs> yeah, yeah, trailers. I I vetted this guy. It was a lot of work again. <laughs> Jesus. Like we can get him. It's. It's painful to, to, to code all of that. <laughs> but once it's working, it, it keeps on working. So that's that's the beauty of game development. I see. Giant mountain enemy. Let's let's try to get him. Um, you mean Perkele, I think. Perkele. Okay, this guy, you man. Ah shit. Oh. oh no. Oh god. <laughs> yeah, you need to have a good build for this guy. What's up? I think time's up soon, I, I, I assume. Oh god, giant Oko.
Oh no! Oh god. <laughs> I wonder why his health bar is flickering like that though. That's awkward. Let's check if it happens normally as well. Yeah, and he has weakening curse too. Oh, I didn't take perks. No, but I'm under power to face him. Like, I'm not really preparing to go and face him. What? Time's up? Make way? <laughs> yeah, the name of the boss. <laughs> so, um, it's your your guy's turn. Um, should I stop here? Very nice. Man, I, I that was so tiring. Uh, it was a lot of work. <sighs> yeah, and I get deja vu when I watch them. I get PTSD kind of because of all the work and I remember all the work I did. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs>